welcome back to Zero's channel and to Let's Talk Ships and today I've been thinking because there's a lot of discussion about French battleship and uh, Roma and stuff like that are they any good ship and uh, why uh, what do I think personal ob uh, opinion about the new oncoming uh, Gascone and the Roma uh, the also uh, Italian tier 8 battleship and I will actually compare with this lovely uh, battleship, the mighty Bismarck. Now, don't get me wrong, I still believe it's kind of a mech firepower at tier 8 with 8 guns. But Gascone also have t uh, 8 guns, guys. Gascone will not have more guns than Bismarck. Uh, and uh, you may argue there are... Uh, in those two ships I know it's still work in progress but let let me know I have seen a couple of videos so a little bit I see that the dispersion of Roma and Gascone are even worse than the Bismarck and I played with Bismarck so many times I know exactly what I'm talking I sure sometimes you can have that luckily good RNG hit and the shell are uh, you know pretty uh, close but sometimes sometimes the shells are all over the place if you don't believe me go watch Nutzer's video about the Gascone uh, what he felt about it it's a um, shall I say speed monster ish stay far away you know 15 to 20 kilometers away from the action and the, the next question, do we need, guys, more 20 kilometers snipers? Uh, I'm talking about the battleship. It is good for meta. No, I don't think so. Uh, 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 about the Roma, I do believe Roma have the worst dispersion, the worst gun of any tier 8 ship in this fracking game. Beside one, I do believe the cake will take the Monarch. Monarch are absolutely crap and it's also uh, that I was so frustrated about that. No good piece of crap Monarch guns. I sell it immediately. Now, what is the reason you play a battleship? You want to be strong, you want to push, you want to, you know, receive some damage because you are the one who can take damage and punch your enemy and, 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 and you know, secure the win. You are the bone of this uh, battle and that is the mighty battleship. I'm talking about general. Now, if you don't fulfill your role of a battleship, and you cannot rely on your guns and you have to wait 30 seconds for the next salvo then something is wrong D don't get me wrong uh, the Bismarck's guns are not relied they, they can definitely troll you but you have two things three sorry not two three th uh, different uh, uh, power uh, hidden power of uh, Bismarck one absolutely amazing good hydro we which is not easy to delete a, a Bismarck. Secondary and armor. You have one of the best armor. You cannot citadel her and, and she's tough. I know she has a lot of uh, superstructure and so on. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say, guys, even though, uh, because here's the deal, the Bismarck the other way around, you closer you are, more stronger your ship is. And Gascone and... Um, Italian, closer you are, you're toast. If you get close to your enemy, you're toast in the French and the Roma. They do not fulfill. Don't get me wrong, Roma kind of a trollish army, so, but she can be citadel. And same thing goes with Gascony. Gascony eats citadels for days. Bismarck doesn't. And by the way, your gun reloads of the same caliber of the Gascony, 26 seconds versus 30 seconds the French one so I don't know where game if you see this video I'd like to say if you make too bad Sigma and dispersion of uh, your main guns what do you think that we battleship lovers can do about it do you think that we very much enjoy you know uh, once RNG or your friend and and it goes exactly where you aim and the shot will devastate your enemy or frustration like hell to play a battleship which only sometimes you do good damage just sometimes uh, you are helping your team because let's say if you 
you know, play one battleship that almost each and every salvos after salvo after salvo or not even the same postcode where you aim, then what the hell it's the purpose to play uh, the battleship in the first. Uh, and by the way, do you think Wargaming that a uh, Hydro it's worse than a speed boost? What is the damn speed boost um, helping your team? Uh, I'm talking about if you have a new French battleship with speed boost and your speed would increase around two or three knots, what that uh, um, consumable will help your team to uh, secure the victory. That it's kind of a mech. Like Notzer used to say in his latest video. I do believe that um, spotter plane, which every battleship can have, it's a better tool than a stupid, no good piece of crap, a speed boost for a French battleship. And I actually do agree with him. That stupid, no good piece of crap, uh, consumable, it will net help your team. I know you will go from A to B, sell a whole lot faster, probably faster than any other uh, ship in this game. But the meta we're gaming, that's something you have been drinking. You, we don't want uh, 20 more kilometers HE spammer the whole entire line. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is probably the other way around with Bismarck. With Bismarck, you don't, even though you have gun range, you don't want to aim at shoot at 20 kilometers. You want to have this closer range because, let's face it, at 11.7 kilometers, your secondary open up. This is the range I want to brawl, and I want to brawl with everything. It does not even ma uh, matter if it's a tier 9 or tier 10 battleship. Sure, I will take a hit, I cannot be Citadel, but my main gun and with my secondary will work that tier 9 and tier 10 battleship. And this is the n nicest thing about uh, uh, German battleship. You want to be close, you want to en uh, engage, and where you when are you a powerhouse? When you are damn close. Because let's face it, if there's a division with two or three, uh, you know, Bismarcks and Tirpitz, uh, uh in, in your team and you're going and, and brawl, well, you're becoming a powerhouse. And this is what you're supposed to do in a battleship. You're not supposed to stay a uh, snipe where you just spawn and try to, uh, like Notzer used to say, uh, try to use your uh, spotter plane and engage your enemy 30 kilometers away because that is your main damn French battleship uh, line gun range when the spotter plane are available. So what kind of a... Yes, that is a good question. Do you think Wargaming that we will have a more action close fight a uh, battleship line or we're gonna have the other way around that everyone it's trying to snipe you at 30 not 20 30 kilometers away and do as little as possible and with those um, in my uh, book no good piece of crap rng uh, bad uh, dispersion guns that's the reason probably no zoop for you using the he because he was lucky if he had one or two shells and that shell probably did some uh, HE damage overall because uh, even though the, there's nothing wrong with the AP it's just it, it's the Sigma and the dispersion are absolutely crap and I apologize and have to say that I would say that from the first tier 3 battleship all the way to probably tier 9 every single one of them they will have crap 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 uh, Sigma and uh, dispersion they will have one of the worst probably one this is what I'm gonna say the Tirpitz and Bismarck that will be a sniper versus French battleships dispersion yep that it's the the truth and the sad part is that this game does not need more HE spammer and long range HE spammer and the Yamato's stupid range of the guns we don't need that so I do I do hope the war game is change something about the French uh, battleship that you will not have this stupid uh, 30 kilometers uh, uh, range and bad dispersion. So everyone should be forced to come 
closer and try to brawl try to help your team that is uh, this game all about please let me know guys very short information please let me know what do you think are you hype or what about the french battleship line i know it's still work in progress but what i'm trying to say guys for the love of god don't grind this line don't spend your hard working in money in a battleship that does not have the dispersion on your side you kind of uh, need to pray to rng to be your friend to hit the damn target so yeah that's what i'm trying to say even though bismarck interprets has bad dispersion because they want to brawl and come within let's say 11 kilometers well in that sh short uh, range well uh, the chance that you will hit the damn target it's kind of a uh, big and reload and secondary and hydro and everything will help you to win that engagement not so much in french battleship which yes hello they have citadel yes hello they can be heavily damaged by everything and everyone especially the us will heavily heavily punish the um, french battleship because of the dispersion uh, which is m by far one of the best in the game but there's one more line also i like to say because i do own her and i know exactly what i'm talking about what it's also op about the conquer it's also the dispersion the shells are stupid uh, close together and when they hit they hit hard does not matter if you have he or ap because even ap can do a lot of damage and they will wreck the entire italian and the french battleship line that's all for today guys subscribe to my channel and let me know what do you feel about the roma and the new oncoming gascone tier 8 french battleship have a good one, take care and bye.